hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve this problem so in this problem we are required to determine the force in this bf member force right so we will solve this problem by using the method of section so if, so to apply the method of section we have to pass a cutting section through this bf member right so if i pass a cutting section like this so, and then we can consider this left hand, left hand side of this given truss right so if we pass a cutting section like this so then we will be able to see this uh, BC member force, this BF member force, and similarly this GF member force, right? So let's say that this is BC member force. Let's say this is BC. This one will be BF. We can write that this is BF and this one will be GF. Right, so to find this BF member force, if we apply the summation of moment about point A equals to zero, so in this equation we will have only BF as an unknown since this BC and this GF member forces are passing through that point A, so they are not producing the moment about that point A, so only this BF will come into our equation, right? So to before applying this summation of moment about point A equals to zero, first we need to have the angle of this BF force with the horizontal, right? So we need to have this alpha angle in order to resolve this BF force into its components along x and y axes, right? If this is our positive x and this is our positive y axis, so we have to resolve this BF force into its components. So in order to resolve this BF force, we need to have this alpha angle, right? So for this, if we if I consider that, let's say that this intersection point is, let's see, K, right? So we can write that, let's say this is K. So if we consider this BKF triangle, so I can write that from BKF triangle, we can write that tan alpha will be equal to KF. Kf is the perpendicular of this triangle, right? So it will be Kf divided by Bk. So it is given that Bk length is 2 meters. So we know Bk. So we have to find this Kf, right? So if, if I draw a, a horizontal line from this point G as well, if we draw a line, horizontal line from this, and let's say that this intersection point is, let's say, T. Right, so then we can write that this BF length is equal to the. Uh, we can say that this KF, sorry, this KF length is. We can say that KF, the perpendicular of this triangle, right? So this KF length is equal to KT plus TF. Right, so. And, and we can see that this KT length is equal to this BG length. So we can write that KT is equal to BG, right? So we can find this KT by using this ABG triangle, right? So if I, if I extend this line, so then we can consider these two triangles. So let's say that this point is, let's say, point S. Right, so if we consider this BAS triangle, so from BAS triangle we can find this BS length, right? We can write that this BG length is equal to BS plus GS, right? And these are the perpendicular of these two triangles. We have these two triangles, right? So one angle is 30 and the other angle is 15. And we know this length, this length is 2, right? So let me draw this ABS triangle. So this is, let's say, our ABS triangle. ABS. This length is 2. And we want to find this BS. And this angle is 30 degrees. Right? So now if we apply tan theta to this triangle, triangle ABS, so we can write that tan 30 degrees will be equal to BS divided by 2. The base is 2, right? So from this BS is equal to 2 tan 30 degrees, right? So now we know this BS. And similarly, using this lower triangle, we can find this GS, right? So if I draw that lower triangle, so then we will have this triangle. This angle is 30. This length is 2. And this is that GS. And this is that point A. 
So again, if we apply tan 30 to this triangle, uh, sorry, this angle is 15, right? So this angle is given as the lower triangle is making 15 degree here, right? So this is 15. So if we write tan 15, so tan 15 will be equal to GS. So we can write that this is GS divided by 2. And from this GS length, the perpendicular of the lower triangle GS is equal to 2 tan 15 degrees, right? So from here, we can write that this is this BG length is equal to BS is 2 tan 30. So we will write that this is 2 tan 30. GS is 2 tan 15. So you will write plus 2 tan 15 degrees, right? So now we know this kt length right so in this triangle uh, in this equation we want to find this kf so kf length is equal to kt and kt is equal to 2 tan 30 degree plus 2 tan 15 degree plus tf right so tf is this length right and this is that same triangle right this g TF triangle and this EGS triangle both are similar, right? So then this TF will also be equal to this GS, right? So if TF is equal to GS, so then GS is 2, 10, 15. So we can write that this is 2, 10, 15. So this is that KF length which was required in this 10 alpha equation, right? So let's say that this was our equation A. So now we can find that alpha angle. So alpha will be equal to 10 inverse. And we can write that KF is 2 10 30 degree plus 2 10 15 degrees plus 2 10 15 degrees. And BK. So BK length is 2. This is 2. This is given, right? So we will divide it by 2. So from this alpha equals to 48.06 degrees. Now we know that alpha angle, this alpha angle is the angle of this BF force with the horizontal, right? So that angle is 48.06. So now once we know this angle alpha, we can resolve this BF force into its components, right? So we will have uh, this as a cos component, right? This will be BF cos of alpha. And then similarly, we will have the sine component of this BF, which will be acting like this. Right, so this one is the cos component. We can write that this is BF cos of alpha, and this one is sine component. So we can write that this is BF sine of alpha. So now, if we apply the summation of moment about point A equals to zero, and if counterclockwise moment is positive, so now as we can see that this cos component is producing the clockwise moment about that point A. So we will write minus and we will write that this is BF cos of alpha. Alpha is now known which is 48.06 and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point A is this BS length, right? The perpendicular of this triangle. And we already know that this BS length is equal to 2, 10, 30. Right, we have already determined this. This BS length is 2, 10, 30. So the moment arm of this BF cos component is equal to 2, 10, 30. So we will multiply this with 2, 10, 30 degree. Similarly, this sine component of this BF force is also producing the clockwise moment about that point A. So again, we will write minus BF sine of 48.06. And the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point A is this 2 meter length, right? So we will multiply this with 2. So I can write 2 here as well, right? So this is 2 multiplied by BF sine of 48.06. Similarly, this 12 kN force is again producing the clockwise moment about that point A. So we will write minus, and this is 12. And the perpendicular distance of this 12 kN force from that point A is this 2 meters. So we will multiply this with 2. And this is equal to 0. Now, if we simplify this equation, so as we can see that this uh, cos of 48.06 into 2, 10, 30 equals to 0 0.772. Similarly, this 2 into sine of 48.06 is 1.488. And this BF is taken as common, right? So this will be, and if we bring this to the other side of equation, so this will become plus 24. 
so from this bf member force will be equal to 24 and this sum is 2.26 right so we would divide this by 2.26 and here we have this minus sign right so from this this bf member force is equal to minus 10.62 kilonewton since we have this minus sign so this means that the assumed direction is not accurate so this means that this bf force is acting towards this joint b so if this bf force is acting towards the joint b so this means that this is the compressive force so this is 10.62 kilonewton force and it is compressive right so this is that required bf member force